And welcome. Now, nah, well, peace, peace be unto you. Wellness be unto you all. Now, greetings, greetings. Um, wherever you are in your path right now, I just want to remind you to give gratitude. A lot of us, you know, are at places where collectively, let's give honor to source. Let's give honor to the creator, the most high. Um, the great divine mother, the great divine father. Um, most importantly, source. Some may title it different things, but um, yeah, I had something that I came to me and you know glad to share it with you all. Uh, what makes us all unique? Oh, give an honor, give gratitude to the ancestors known and unknown, uh, especially those that came before us and now those who are, uh, give us, you know, the divine guidance who light our path. Um, so, yeah, I want to share this with y'all <clears throat> and it's kind of in my notes and, uh, as I was writing it, I did, you know, you're writing something, it's just flowing. So it's not going to be the best handwriting, but it's the message still is going to be delivered. So, uh, and let me first by say, starting off saying that, um, everyone collectively, individually, not just my tribe or family, everyone is going through something, clearing karma something whether on not just only in a spiritual aspect but also physically um so you are not the only one but you are the one that is and is and has been selected yeah yeah you so the beauty of this all is that as we shift Individually, those of you that choose to heal and chosen to heal this lifetime, um, even that term chosen, everyone is chosen to do something. <laughs> you got people that chose the dark rather than choosing to heal what's in the dark. And you got those who choose the light. Uh, there is balance to it all, but okay, let me get on with this message. So, and it says, um, we never knew what it was to carry our own water. Therefore, we depended, depended on others to supply the water and to order, water us in ways we never learned ourselves. Now... Um, we never knew how to carry our own. Everything to pour into ourselves, to nourish ourselves. So by the time our parents or guardians generationally reached us, they came with a bucket that was also the water which we come through the waters of our mothers and generationally water holds memory. So emotionally, everything comes from our, the mother's womb. So this water, by the time it has reached us, some of us here generationally, the water was empty. Most importantly, the bucket was empty. And most importantly, the parents, some, hadn't learned how to carry their own. And by the time, again, it got to us, they were burnt out. Mentally, spiritually, physically. Never being fulfilled. Their cup or and so bucket never they never knew the feeling of being whole or within, fulfilled, satisfied. 
rather than that 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 uh, that still led them to be dependent on the past person or persons parent codependently on their support leading to hopelessness rejection abandonment childhood woundings to our generation to unpack the luggage, the baggage, emotionally, spiritually, physically, to face the fears, the shadows of our lineages. In this process, what followed us through the wombs of our of the matriarchal as well as the seed of the patriarchal that that darkness followed that followed we became and in that becoming we also became a follower and we know that every follower at some point has to choose to be a leader so every leader was once a follower at once one moment in their life in his or her lifetime so my message to you and all that will receive this the same darkness curse hexes childhood woundings fears that haunted your family lineage or tribe or clan you were the light guiding and in the midst of the path that was set before your arrival, upon your arrival. The darkness that tried to destroy your lineage. But there's something that you must remember and remind yourself of. The same darkness is you, for you are the light that is to shine bright on the things that no longer have power and dominion that which it had in the past until it reached you. You are that beacon of light. The darkness fears because someday you will be the one to acknowledge it. Better yet, you have acknowledged the past and the darkness. And upon that journey, you have learned to embrace it, make peace with it. Not to tame it, but honor it for what it is, accept it for what it is, how it has served its purpose. Now that darkness serves you. The family, the same darkness the family feared most you now let go of, transmute it, alchemize it, and in a new way of being to create a new way of peace, love, and harmony, abundance. And in that process, it will look unfamiliar, unknown to those who hasn't consciously became aware of their own darkness. So you are the one, and it always has been you, who has chosen to face yourself. And it is you that shall be the God in light for all those who, whether they are inspired, but it is you that is a God in light for the youth it is you as a God in light for all little girls, princesses, prince, kings. It is you, chiefess, high priestess, artist, and always you are here to express who you truly are. So know that. We're all purging the false narrative of what and how 
the distorted misconception of what the father and mother both represented in what we call the matrix or the world and how it also has affected everyone. It also has the process of, you know, when, we, when I speak about the water, it's just like a ripple effect. It has somewhat reached us all in some way. It's just like that water that has to be cleansed. It is you, young princesses and mothers-to-be, who will rise to cleanse and honor your wounds for the divine portals and to bring forth life, as well as you, young men, young prince, who will know the importance of semen retention and your life force and your creative energy is it's it's you it is you that will help usher in a new way a new earth a new way of being so right now what we're all experiencing in some way is we're seeing the false narrative of what it is to be because our true value our true our divine truth, the love, everything has always came from within. So know who you are. You've always known who you are. We're all clearing karma in some way. And the truth of the matter is, is that had we not went through the darkness, how will we create a path of dharma, a dharmic path for the ones that will come after us? So, remain the eye in the storm and continue to dive deep within yourself and love yourself more and more each day. We all are learning to honor every aspect of ourselves. We're unhealing, unprogramming, reprogramming, learning who we truly are and most importantly, staying true to what is here, what we're called to do. Take care of yourselves. Peace. Shalom.